Now, all the work in our design section is finished. We hope to create this game through three stages. In this tutorial, we will create only the first phase of it. What happens at this stage is to register for the game and log into the game using the superhero ID and the password given during the registration. It need to store the superhero name, superhero ID and the password given when registering for the game in a table in this app. The table is used to check whether the superhero ID and the password given when re-logging in are the same as the superhero ID and the password given during the registration. We can log in only if they are the same. We need to create a table to store the data which is given when registering. We learned how to import a table from the data library into the app we are creating and how to create a new table by entering data we need in previous lessons. We need to create a table here too. I click here on data. In the data browser section, we give the name of the table that we are going to create for table name. Let's type as super users. Look carefully at the ways these words are typed and the way capital and simple letters are used. The letter S in the word super and the letter U in the word users are capital letters. You should also give the name in the same way. Be careful not only here but also in other places of the table. Even when we create the code, remember to provide these letters in this way. Now, I click the add button here. Right. Now we can create the table. I need four columns as superhero name, superhero ID, super code and badges. Currently, there is only one column called column 1. I change this column to superhero name. By clicking on the plus sign in the next column, I will add another column. The name of this column, the column 2, is removed and given as superhero ID. Again, as before, click on this plus sign and add another column. The name of this column is given as super code. Again, the plus sign is clicked and another column is added and named as badges. Right, now we have finished designing the table. As in the previous lesson, we will not enter data into this table. We are creating this game in such a way that when the app is run and registered, data is entered automatically. I click on back to data here again. Now we can see that the table we have added is displayed in the data table section. Now I click on code again. 